Stemming the scientific brain drain from the developing world. This is the aim of the Abdus Salam International Center for Theoretical Physics of Trieste, in Italy. Since 1964, scientists from developing countries come to ICTP to study, research and contribute to the development of their home countries. But how does this center succeed in advancing scientific expertise in some of the world's poorest countries? We came here to discover it with the director and some of the current students of ICTP. The main mission of ICTP is uh, to promote science in the whole world, and particularly in developing countries. I think it's a very important mission because science is basic for the development of any society, and in particular for developing countries, they lack very much the presence of a strong scientific culture. ICTP is governed by UNESCO, the International Atomic Energy Agency, and the Italian government, which provides most of its funding. From 1970 until now, we have received 130,000 visitors coming from 188 countries. We try to support scientists not to leave their country. And that's why we have programs like this, associate programs. Three months a year, you can come here and do research and educate yourself and update yourself and talk to other scientists. Then the, the scientists can go back to his or her country and continue their research. So in, in that sense, we prevent the scientists from leaving their country or science itself. This is the equation we have to solve. At ICTP, there are now 40 students coming from developing countries to attend the diploma course. And how is this done? Well, you see here that they are specializing done. in high energy, cosmology and astroparticle physics, condensed matter and statistical physics, mathematics and earth system physics. On top of that, each year, ICTP organizes around 60 international conferences and workshops. Every week we have classes for like 10 hours and also they, they teach us how to apply for a PhD. That is really important for us. The best thing of studying at ICTP is the environment, the professors who are really qualified and also the library. You can find anything you want. Everything you need is there. Here at ICTP, scientists from the developing world can have access to the same resources and opportunities enjoyed by their colleagues in wealthier countries. Yeah, so this part of all your diagrams is wrong. It has nothing to do with the corridors of the building are full of chalkboards where students share and fix their ideas. The studies are very demanding, but at ICTP there is no shortage of areas where to relax or make some sports. One thing that developing countries need often is better opportunities to go out, learn, advance, then come home because many people, they go, they learn, and they never actually bring that knowledge back home to help develop their country. I want to become a mathematics professor because I want to train the new generation because at the end of the day, the world is facing many problems today and we need innovative solutions for these problems. And I feel that if I can train the, the next generation of engineers or even computer science scientists or, you know, or physicists or whoever, chemists, I feel that goes a long way, even further than I can imagine, to helping to solve the problems of today. Among ICTP alumni, there are directors of research centers, professors and ministers of science and technology in nations throughout the developing world. But a lot of things are still left to be done. We are celebrating our 50th anniversary next year, and on one of the days we are going to try to concentrate on how we, together with other international institutions funded by their own governments, can actually coordinate our efforts to be much more efficient in the support for developing countries.